Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be checking out the free assets for this month, the month of December. Basically, Epic Games gives away six free asset packs every single month on Fab. How it works is they give away three free asset packs the first half of the month. So from today, December the 4th, all the way to the 17th. And then in the second half of the month, they actually give away three more free asset packs. So these assets are free to claim right now on Fab for a limited time only. And in this video, we'll be checking out and reviewing all the free assets that we get for this first half of the month. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for the next video as I will be reviewing the other three asset packs that come out later on this month. Now there's quite a bit of interesting stuff that we get this month so be sure to let me know what you guys think about the free assets that we get down in the comments down below. And before we get right into the video I want to quickly tell you about this video sponsor. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well I was in your same position many years ago and so that's why I created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. This course will teach you step by step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and plans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smart poly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer. So take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below. All right, so here we are in the first level. This is the engine hall asset pack. So basically this includes a ton of different uh, engines or mechanical engines, different little gear spinning. Basically this asset pack is a very simple one. It's not a whole lot of detail in this asset pack. So nothing like nanite quality. It's more or less for the game ready type of assets. So if we zoom around in the level here, you can see there's fog and all the engines are animated. So these are all skeletal meshes running with their own little animations. So we can see all the different gears, things like the pistons running which is very nice. I love some of the animations. But as you can see, if I zoom up on some of the meshes, they're not super high quality, you know, nanite detail that we're used to. But nonetheless, you can use this for, you know, any sort of game. Or maybe you can use it in sort of background props because they look very nice from afar. And if we actually play as a character, you can see what it'll look like as, you know, a character running around the level. There's not a whole lot in this level. It's just like a showcase level with, you know, everything closed off. So again, not a whole lot of action going on in this pack. Then over here in the overview level, these are all the different assets that are included in the pack. So you can see all the engines. These are all static meshes. And then in the back, they have the skeletal mesh versions of those, which are fully animated. So as you can see, you know, with the gears spinning and all that stuff. And then over here are the different catwalks, things like that. And again, not very nanite quality or, you know, super high detailed in the textures. So maybe these would work really good for, you know, game ready props. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. Next up, we have this military mercenary bandit. So this is a very simple military character. As you can see, this is what the character looks like. He has sort of this bulletproof vest and this full body outfit with the jacket and you know some combat pants there so it comes with different variations and this character isn't super you know high detailed you can see the geometry in the ear there so again it's not like super high poly but it's game ready mesh so you can use this in your games and you probably use this in your films as you know like a background character as long as you're not zooming in on the face you can see all the different camo varieties that it comes with so this character is fully animated and rigged and i really like this fully blacked out camo outfit or variation so yeah that's what it looks like and then in the back here are some more different variations i think these are actually almost the same as the ones up in front 
Over here are just the different animations. So I think this is rigged to the UE4 skeleton. So it's a game ready mesh that you can use in your games. All right, and the last pack that we're getting this month is the Vegetation Volume 1 Forest Auto Material Pack. So basically this is sort of like a stylized environment asset pack. So you can see all the grass here is cartoony and stylized. We have things like rocks, pebbles, little sticks and branches, things like bushes, trees. And in order to get all this to work, I actually had to enable virtual textures. So just note that if you guys are gonna actually download and use this asset pack, everything will look gray, all the grass will look gray unless you enable virtual textures in your project settings. So all you have to do is go to edit, project settings and search for virtual textures. And just click the checkbox right here. If you're doing that for the first time, it will take, you know, roughly half an hour or more to compile all the shaders. But yeah, otherwise everything will look black or gray unless you enable those virtual textures. So yeah, it looks like there's different biomes in here. So you can see the grass is sort of like this brownish color. And there's, you know, different patches of yellow as well as green. And then over here, it looks like we have this clearing in the forest. So there's different pebbles that spawn in this area. And if I actually zoom out and give you guys a view of the map, not a huge you know, open world map, but everything is populated with these trees and stylized assets. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below. And let's quickly check out the overview level. So this overview level just shows all the different props that are used in that scene. So very simple as it only includes a couple of different combinations, things like these uh, different rock props. So you can see what the different boulders look like. Comes with this little water plane. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And then of course the bush, some of the different grass props, and then of course all the different tree meshes. And it kind of looks like these are all the same tree meshes. So maybe they're only using one type of tree mesh there, but yeah, those are all the different props that come in this pack. And that's pretty much it for this month's free assets or for at least this first half of the month. So like I mentioned earlier, they're doing a new thing where they give away six total free assets on FAB. The first half of the month, they give away three asset packs. Then the second half of the month, they give away three more free asset packs. So I believe somewhere around on the 17th or somewhere halfway into the month, they will release three additional free assets. And by then I'll be making a video reviewing those assets. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so that you can stay up to date. And also make sure that you claim these assets right now because they're only free for two weeks for a very limited time only. And you definitely don't want to be like me because I didn't miss out the first week that they started doing these free asset giveaways. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments below. Not a whole lot of assets this month, probably about less than 50 total assets or meshes that we got for this half of the month. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments and that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.